nice to see you again. I take it this means you're up for another challenge. And I want you to create and assign two more materials. So we're going to first of all create a material for the door and the key card. If I just press play, you can see that there is now a glowing blue material on the key card. And I've also used the same glowing blue material on the highlights on the door to make a visual link between those two elements. So now that player hopefully visually knows that that key card has something to do with the door. I also want you to create a, another material to replace. So we've just been using the basic wall material. I've now changed that to be a highlight of a different shade of blue. And you can see that that's happening all over the place. It's got that grubbiness to it. And I've actually called it grubby wall too. So I'll show you my materials. So I've created a glowing blue, which is called M underscore glowing blue and M underscore grubby wall too. Everything you need to know has been covered in this chapter to create those two materials. So have a go at it, see how you get on. And then I will see you with two new materials in the next chapter, chapter five, where we're going to set about actually bringing in the character and making him the playable character. So in the next chapter, oh, there he is. This guy, Blip, little robot guy, we're going to bring in the proper version of him. It's going to be in the chapter five resource folder and we're going to bring his animations and just have him running around the level. So this kind of ends the basic beginners portion of the course and we're moving on to intermediate stuff going forward. Well done for sticking with it and I will see you in the next chapter. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.